Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover, and today I'm out on Fiesta Island. Uh, it's no June gloom today, it's a warm day, sunny day, and I'm doing a first impressions video on my GORUCK GR1. Now I wanted to try to find uh, what I consider the perfect EDC pack, something that I can have critical things that I can just grab the pack load it up into the rig and know I've got everything that I need. That bag needs to be relatively simple and it also needs to be small enough that I don't get a whole bunch of stuff in the bag, which makes it very confusing. So this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this with my own money. So this is a new revision of the bag, which has a couple of new features. One is a quick access here in the top. I keep a Olight flashlight and also a headlamp. The other thing about the new reiteration is the, the uh, material that's used on the back and also on the back of these straps is a much lighter ballistic. It's um, got a laptop or a uh, sleeve here in the back, which has got a pad here so it makes it very protected if you want to put a laptop or a an iPad in here. Uh, one thing you have to do is kind of get these straps out of the way. So previously what I did was I used a uh, Vanquist uh, pack. I'll put a picture here of what that pack was. It was a really good pack, not to the level of uh, construction that this is. This pack is made in the USA but uh, still a really great pack, uh, more affordable, obviously. But the problem with it is it had so many pockets and zippers and places to put stuff that when I got to it, I didn't really remember where this was or where that was. And also, many times I want to have everything in this pack, but I want to go ahead uh, when I'm at a place, maybe I want to take some of the items out of the pack. So the simplicity of this pack and why it really makes a lot of sense to me is you have one, you have the back quick access panel, you have one very small panel here at the front that you could put a book or a notebook or something in. I don't put a lot in here because it gets a little difficult to uh, to get at, but I have a right in the rain notebook. So if I need to make some notes or something, I've got that there. I've got a bandana, so I keep that up there. Now, the other thing about this then is that clamshells open. So what you have, and these are really, really good zippers. What you have is this clamshell shell opens. And here are GR1 built in the USA. There's two pockets here, one at the top. I keep um, stuff I want to make sure I don't lose up here. And then below is a mesh where you can see it. So I keep uh, items there that I would like to quick access. And that's really, that's it for the bag. It is where I keep a lot of the EDC stuff that I carry regularly. And you can see here, we've got um, a, a multi-tool, got the uh, Raptor scissors, got a uh, lighter. Normally I have my Benchmade uh, knife in here. Got a little bit of a, you know, plug-ins and cords and stuff like that, that I would have as extras. Because normally I also would carry a, um, a bag that has all of my cables and battery packs and stuff like that. And, and really the benefit of this kind of system is you can, um, you can choose what you want to have in the pack and then you can take out stuff that you don't want to have in the pack. The nice thing about the GORUCK pack is it does have molly and uh, you can pull these out and then you can all you can go to the outside of the pack and molly this on if you want to have extra storage inside the pack, or you can also there's some um, there's some molly at the back of this pack which I'll show you when we unpack it. 
So I've got that. I've got uh, my my power and cable management. This is an error pack that I've used for a long time. I used to have the Peak Design, but it was just too bulky and prefer to have this one instead. And here is um, some photography stuff. This is a Peak Design. So I have uh, microphones and things like that, um, hard drive, uh, things that I would use in photography. And lastly, uh, I've got a medical pack. This is 511. A pocket here that's got some elastic on it. If you want to put something back in here that you want to secure. I've got an area for a pin. And here's where the other molly is. So you can see where that molly is if you wanted to put the pack up there. Now, the one drawback is this top pouch now really does infringe in that a little bit. So I think they should reconfigure that. In my expectation, this is the last backpack that I'm going to ever buy. And I have a, I have a backpack problem, so hopefully that'll be the case. But super well made, made in the USA. Uh, I'll put the uh, website again for you. So if you want to visit it to see more information and also uh, the founders um, kind of video on the history of the GR1. They also have a lot of other packs as well, including packs that are designed for rucking. Uh, so you can take a look at that as well. Everything's top drawer, highly recommend it. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please consider a like and subscribe. And uh, remember, get outside, it's a beautiful day.